Hello everyone. A very warm welcome to you on behalf of Team Elan Markets and Team Stockage. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the RSI or the Relative Strength Index indicator. This is a very popular indicator. At the beginning, we will discuss about the RSI formula and the range and after that we will discuss how to use this indicator effectively in our trading now let us begin with the rsi formula and the range rsi or the relative strength index is an oscillator what is an oscillator an oscillator is something which moves to and fro within a range this range is 0 to 100 in the case of rsi this is one of the most used leading indicators why we call it a leading indicator because the trading signals with RSI are generated before anticipated price movements happen. J. Wells Welder Jr. introduced the Relative Strength Index indicator which measures the velocity of price movements during the trading. So the instrument underlying can be stocks, commodity futures, index futures, bond or anything that is plotted on the chart and we take a specified period of time to actually calculate the RSI. The formula for calculating the RSI is as follows. The RSI is equal to 100 minus 100 divided by 1 plus relative strength. What is relative strength? Relative strength is average gain over a specified period of time divided by average loss over the same period. Now, overbought or oversold region is very important rsi is a bounded indicator the upper and lower bound are 100 and 0 respectively and the specified period that we use to calculate the rsi is generally 14 but a trader or a analyst is free to alter the period count to suit his or her analysis a lower period count like 10 or 7 will generate more frequent buy and sell signals also few of them would be wrong and similarly for a higher period count like 20 will generate a lesser number of buy or sell signal with the probability of excluding some of the genuine buy or sell opportunities so generally we go for a 14 period or uh, 10 or 7 or uh, any other period lower than 14 would be generating higher frequency of trading signals and higher time frame that is 20 or anything that we select would generate a lower number of trading signals. Normally when a stock or a financial instrument is having its RSI value above 70 it is said to be in the overbought region and while the value is below 30 it is considered to be in the oversold region. We want to specify one thing here that some instrument can remain very bullish and during that time the RSI may remain in the overbought region for a longer period of time. Similarly in a bearish market the financial instrument can remain very bearish and the RSI value of that instrument can remain below 30 for a prolonged period of time. So uh, instrument being such that the RSI in the overbought or the oversold region is not a standalone buying or selling signal. We have to take into account a lot of things. Now let us look at the Tech Mahindra Limited chart. Here what we can see is that the stock moves up and down and up and down and during that time simultaneously the RSI is also going to and fro between the 30 and 70 zone. In a very bearish market, the RSI can actually reach close to 20 and the 20 can be the frequently considered as the oversold barrier or the boundary and in a very bullish market, 80 can be considered as a upper bound or the region for considering something to be overbought. But normally, in most of the practical cases, 3070 region is fine for the RSI. Now, we have discussed the statistics behind calculating the RSI and its range. Now, we will go into the usage of RSI in the trading 
one by one. 